So a question that many ask is, God, does God really care about what I do, about what we do? Um, and the answer is yes and no. Very Jewish answer. Uh, yes, I mean, no, he doesn't care because um, the idea is that he doesn't need you. God doesn't need us, doesn't need any of our services. He doesn't need to be praised and served. Um, and yes, because he created a world where he chose to care for our sake. We, God doesn't need us, but we need God. Everything really in this world is an opportunity for us to get, um, um, I would say, to earn our own eternal future existence on whatever level we want. So God is saying, if you want to, I created your soul, and if you want, if you just want to leave this world, this physical world, okay, go enjoy, and, and you'll enjoy this world. But if you want something higher, if you want something more powerful, if you want something beyond anything, then you will have to work for it and learn to have a relationship with me and learn to love me and become one with me. And how do we do that? We need to have a relationship. So uh, how do you have a relationship? Like a marriage, you want to live happy ever after in love and passion. Well, you got to learn, go through the ups and downs of the relationship, married relationship. And then eventually um, you achieve a very high level of love, one with your spouse. So God says the same thing. Um, I, I create a book called the Torah. And this Torah, it's, it's a letter of love. It's a, it's a book where you can learn how to love me and how to be ready for the spiritual world, um, the Olam Abba. The whole work you have to prepare here, right? In this physical world. That's your opportunity. So if, that, if you want a relationship like that, I'm going to show that I care. I'm going to have a relationship with you. And I'm going to react based on what you do. If, and, 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 th and then if you do, do that, then you'll be living not only a great life here, maybe with more work than others who don't want to do anything, but um, the work can be pleasurable when you know what you, what's the purpose. So you're going to have a great life here, and, but the world, the, your life in the world to come is going to be awesome. It's going to be the best that a soul, a human being can uh, have. Um, so as opposed to the way many rabbis explain it, God is not here to punish us or it's, it, it's all about the relationship. When you do something wrong in a relationship, it hurts. The person is unhappy, is, is frustrated, is angry. So God shows those things. God acts as if he was a human being with us because that's the way we communicate with him because we're human beings. He created a system like that. So we are here and um, it's not that, oh, I, I, I didn't keep Shabbat. I didn't keep this commandment. So why he's going to send me to hell? God doesn't care about sending you to hell. God cares like, what do you want for your life? Hell only means that if you want to go to the next world, you're going to have to go through a purification process to really enjoy the spiritual world. Uh, or it means that, you know, if you're only interested in this world, then you won't even have a purification process. You will just die forever. What do you want as a human being from life? What it is that you're here for? Do you want greatness? Do you want power, uh, powerful um, experiences? You know, passion, spirituality, transcendence? Or you're here just for a cheeseburger and a little bit of sex and rock and roll and drugs? That is that, that's what you're here for? Okay, go enjoy. God, God doesn't mind. Do whatever you want. But don't expect to get the greatest life, um, the greatest possible potential human being. It's in our, in, our, it's in our hands, and that's why God gave us free choice. It's up to us to decide what we want. So um, God only cares as much as you care. If you care about a real 
life, a divine life, a spiritual life, something beyond for the next world, then he, he's going to show he cares. He's going to guide you and he's going to make you go through different challenges in order to, um, to help you grow. And um, in Judaism, we don't really believe in punishment. It's all a rectification, an opportunity to fix something you did in the past. God is not angry. God is not frustrated. God loves us, loves everything. He loves his creation. God is pure love. At the essence, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a power, it's an energy, it's a consciousness that is good and wholesome and, and uh, perfect. So that's, that's what we have the opportunity to connect to. It's up to you to make the choice. Are you going to take the red, pe red pill or the blue pill? I'll let you decide. <laughs>